M3RC. We're back with another review. This time we got something interesting, something a little out of my ball court, all right? I kind of suck at flying sometimes. I got a 3D plane and I crashed it in 30 minutes of owning it recently. So I said, Dakota, Mach 3, let's dial it back a little bit. Let's pick up the Radiolink A560, something that's a little more beginner friendly into getting into 3D flying. I need rudder practice. I suck with the rudder. What happened was I got into the hobby, I bought a bunch of 64 millimeter bank and yanks, and I just don't know how to use rudder. So I thought getting something like this that's small, light, uses the rudder quite a bit because it has a vertical ability is a good way to practice it. So let's get into the review of the A560. If you guys are interested at all, you can check the link down below for this plane. Um, Radiolink is an interesting one. I, I like them because they're a little bit of a wolf in sheep's clothing, okay? They look a little, you know, cheaper. There's not a lot going on here. This ain't a fully flushed out plane. It's just a profile plane, but the bits and pieces they use are phenomenal. Great servos in here. Uh, it's a brushless motor. Uh, eight channel receiver. I love the transmitter that's included with this ready to fly package. It doesn't even take double A's. You can plug it in and charge it. That's a game changer. This carrying case that came with it, take note. I love when things have carrying cases. It's so nice. This came with two batteries and we're seeing 10 to 20 minutes of flight time per battery. That's what they say in the manual. We'll test that out and see how long we're actually getting. But that's enough of the specs and junk. Let's get in there and start flying this puppy. Okay, so get our transmitter turned on right here. I like this. It's like an old school PS2 controller. I like that. And here you can see with the triggers, we have multiple different flight modes. So we have things like safe, if you want to call it that, just gyro mode, manual mode. And then this switch changes everything. So then boom, you can be in vertical and it'll hold it vertical. So I'm a little nervous to try that out, but we're gonna. Now we'll plug in our plane here. Do, do, do. Look at them control surfaces, just dancing. Just dancing. Look at that, you can see that self-leveling gyro. Ooh, he's aggressive. We'll probably start off in that mode and then boom, that's just gyro and then nothing. And then we could flip vertical and it starts doing that. That's wild. We'll, we'll get it. All right, let's, let's get her in the air. We'll start off in safe just because I don't really know what to expect. Uh, we'll launch in this grass field over here. Come on, camera gal. Let's get to it. I love how this thing looks. I know it's just a profile plane, but like the checkered pattern, the red and white, it's sick. All right. I don't know what to expect. I mean, I crashed one of these last time. It was actually over there. It's kind of quick, honestly. So again, this is in that like safe mode. Wow, it still lets you bank over pretty dang far. Bring her back around town. We do have a little bit of a wind today, but nothing crazy. Uh, it's probably like three or four mile an hour right now. Wow, dude, this thing's flying beautiful right now. I'm not even like trying in this safe mode. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Let me, oh, look at this, I gotta practice rudder. Oh my, I can do donuts in midair? Are you for real? All right, let's check it out. This thing, honestly, so far, flies way better than I was expecting. Here, I'll get it out of the sun. Sorry about that, camera gal. We'll get her over here a little bit more. The only thing that I'm nervous about is flipping it out of the, the safe mode and then having to worry about like the uh, sensitivity of it because I can't like do expo or anything, but let's try it. Okay, we did it. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, okay, yeah, you definitely gotta be a little touchier, which is to be expected. Holy cow, she rips. Let's try a loop. Oh yeah, all day long. All day long. <laughs> Dude, this is so cool. It flies so freaking good. Just a little, a little twitchy, obviously, but that's to be expected with these giant control surfaces on this super light plane. This is so dang neat. I love it. Fly around. All right, I'm gonna put it back into safe and we're gonna try the, the vertical mode. So flipping it. <laughs> oh, 
I cut throttle because I didn't know what I was doing. I gotta learn how to steer it in the vertical, but every time it falls out of the vertical, it puts itself right back in it. Okay, so that's that. We can spin. Oh! All right, we're gonna, we're gonna flip it out because the wind's pushing it. So let me try. Boom. And it flips right out of it. That is so cool. My transmitter's beeping. I don't know why. Everything's fully charged. Look at this sucker just float and then vertical. Whoa! <laughs> we saved that one. So I definitely got to practice at the vertical stuff. I wonder, I'm gonna try, I'm just in manual. This isn't vertical mode. I just wanted to try it. Oh, flipped her back into safe to save that one, but I was able to hover just a little bit. I am so new to this like 3D flying and all that stuff. All right. I want to try bringing her in for just an absolute butter greaser pan style landing of me catching it. All right, here we go. Don't cut your hand. Let's go, dude. This thing is sick. And again, all I'm doing here is playing with my PS2 controller and flipping these switches to get it to go from horizontal to vertical. And then there's multiple modes in the vertical too. So we might have to try that out. Let's uh, throw her back up again. Takes off like nothing. Oh, uh, that was a real quick, just durability test. I did that for you guys to make sure this thing actually holds up. Uh, we had some in like insane, serious detrimental damage here from that crash. Uh, there we go. Uh, so it's good now. Um, glad we were able to make a field repair like that super quick. And she's off. Like nothing ever happened. Dude, this is a perfect plane even for like a park flyer or uh, you guys that I'm super jealous of that have really nice backyards. Because it can fly as slow as you want it to too. Dude, this thing is just like, look at how slow you can get with it. And then I can practice them rudder turns. Look here, just shake that tail. Woo! I gotta get good with the orientation because what I'm learning is on, on landings, when I'm flying my EDF jets and stuff, I'm not using rudder to correct it and straighten it out. And that's just because I'm not used to the orientation of it. So if I'm flying at me and I use like left or right rudder, I gotta get used to what that actually looks like. Cause I just, I haven't done it a lot. So I think this plane is a great opportunity for me to do that, but then also to just go freaking buck wild too. You can do some gnarly stuff with this thing, dude. It, the roll rate is just wild. It's so sick. All right, let's see if we can catch it one more time. Floating her in. A landing gear one. Guys, this is the Radio Link A560. Sweet little plane. Uh, I like this. I think it's dope. It's very specific for the person that wants it, but I think it's great for practicing. The fact that it has a gyro and stuff in it and it's made of this foam stuff, no glue required. If you need to replace a servo, it's just all screws attached to it. Assembly is insanely easy. It took me like three minutes to put together and it's meant to take apart and put back in that carrying case that I love. So again, if you're interested in it, you can check out the link down below and let me know what you guys want to see me fly next. I'm trying all kinds of new stuff. I appreciate all the support recently. Like, subscribe, and drop a comment for me. See you guys later.